Welcome to service mapping uh, gen AI use case. So in this video, we'll talk about how generative AI can help us uh, improve the service mapping experience in service now. So first, let's talk about what are the existing features which are available in service now, service mapping. So this is your existing features. So we have something called as entry point uh, candidates, which basically tells you what are the load balances which can be added as entry points. And then you have app map uh, candidates, which will tell you like which application services can be mapped. Uh, and then you have something called as uh, uh, connection suggestions. Right? So this will tell us uh, how to uh, add new connections to an existing map. Now, with this method, you can, uh, with this and this, you can create new maps. And with this method, you can improve existing maps or you can update existing maps. So with this also, you should be able to uh, update an existing map. Right? So essentially, the outcome of this is you'll have a map, whether it is a new map or an updated map. Now, let's take an example of uh, SAP as a map. So the business application is SAP ERP, and we're talking about production environment. So let's take that as an example. And for this, the map uh, would look like this. So you have an entry point, and then you have load balancer, then you have your app servers, your prompt apps, and then you have SAP specific apps, like uh, ASCS and so on, or JCS, and then you have your uh, load balancer for databases, and then you have a databases. So this is how the general structure would look like for the production environment. Now, once you create the map, either through this uh, or through this, uh, this is your map. Uh, you'll have that reviewed by an SME from SAP, and we'll get a sign up. Okay. Now, this is a general process. Now, what if there is a, a generative AI solution from service now? So this is my generative AI solution. And the input will come from ServiceNow, the input will come from SAP, because SAP is the manufacturer of this, and then uh, the provider of this uh, product, and then uh, ServiceNow is a platform. So together, if we combine and provide a generative solution, which will give you what I call as an expected map. Right? So expected map. So what that means is, for a given SAP ERP implementation, how a general production service map would look like. Right? So let's say they have the same cons uh, construct. Right? There will be a load balancer, and then there will be like uh, the Tomcat assist applications, and then maybe here they will say that your JCS will come here, and then that will in turn connect to your uh, database load balancer, and then your databases, and so on and so forth. So if they give you like a construct uh, or an expected map, then uh, that will be a good starting point for us to compare the map that is created in the platform to this approach with an expected map. Now this is a standard map, right? Now because there is a discovery solution running in the platform, so they should be able to improve the standard map to meet with what is discovered in the platform, right? So let's say now, they know that maybe there is no load balancer in the client environment, so they just say, uh, like, there is only an application load balancer, TC, TC, and then JCS, uh, and then directly it connects to SQL, right? So now this becomes a specific recommended or expected map for the customer, and this is a standard map in any SRP, SAP ERP implementation, right? So now with the help of uh, discovery, uh, it is able to derive it a expected map which is specific to the client so that way now you have a, a, a really close uh, map that you can compare the map that you have generated through this method and then you can confirm you know if you have to uh, you know run further discovery or uh, you know update your map and so on so yeah, this is a general idea right so just to a quick recap the idea of this video is to uh, talk about a general use case to improve the service mapping functionality in service now. And the way this goes is uh, we already have uh, AML based uh, 
capabilities within service mapping where it gives you all those recommendations for example it will give you entry point recommendations it will give you application mapping standards and connection suggestions with the help of this you can build a new map or update a map so once you do that you get a map here and again the current process is you get it reviewed by sap uh, sme and then you approve, get that approved but then with the help of gen, gen ai uh, so if service now and sap together can give you like an expected map uh, which can come in two variants one is a standard map which is applicable to this application of srp sap and then there is a specific map based on what is discovered in the environment uh, thank you for watching this is Anil.